Hey everyone, welcome to tip of the day. This is Viren here and uh, this is my video number 8 on Microsoft Excel and I'm using Office 365. So quickly, we will learn VLOOKUP in this video. So we will also see why do we need a VLOOKUP and how do we do it. So I have this sample or reference spreadsheet. So let me, uh, you know, first explain you why do we need VLOOKUP. Basically, VLOOKUP stands for vertical lookup. We also have something called as H lookup, which is a horizontal lookup. So, but VLOOKUP is something which uh, a lot of people use. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, you know, how many people use horizontal lookups. At least I have not used uh, in any time. So let's say you get something like this. It may be more bigger than this. You know, I just have this small uh, uh, piece of data here. And let's say somebody says that out of this data, I want you to pull up only your team members information and the information should be something like, it should be in this format, uh, give this title and uh, is salary or his employee ID. So let's say some, somebody is telling you that from the data that is given, the data may be huge. I want you to pull up only your team's information and I want you to present it in this way. That is employee ID, full name, title and weekly salary only for your team. Now this is where VLOOKUP comes into, you know, comes handy. So first of all, I have my team's information that these are my guys uh, and with the help of these, you know, this as a reference, I can look up the values here and take them out from this table so let's see how do we do it so what I'm gonna do is first I want the employee ID so what I'll do is I will say is equal to we look up okay and I will say wherever you see Thomas okay and in this entire table wherever you see Thomas I want you to throw the value which is this which is I mean for Thomas it will be this but what we are trying to say here is there are one two three four five columns in this entire area so what I'm saying is wherever you see Thomas and the employee IDs are in the fifth column so I want you to throw the fifth column value and do a comma and automatically it's saying false for exact match you will use you will end the formula with false close and hit enter so you see here for Thomas the employee ID is 3456 it is exactly pulled like this so any place where it says Thomas it looks for Thomas and then it returns like I said fifth column value so then I can use this formula for how many values do I have here? I have 11. So if I pull this formula 11 times, you see here 11 times after that it starts giving errors, you take that off. So in the first value it is looking up Thomas that is D4, D and 4 automatically when I pull the formula it starts looking for D5 that is Abby so then it looks up in this table and it finds Abby here and then it returns the fifth column value which is 565 now I need the full name here so now what we will need to do is uh, if you saw my earlier videos we will have to do some work here uh, we need a full name that is Thomas and what Thomas's last name is Fernandez so I can do a concatenate here and then I can get the value here that is from here what I'll do is I'll use the formula concatenate is equal to concat I will join the first name and then do and make a space in between and then and and join the last name so I got the first name, the full name here and then I drag this formula here. So I have all the last names here. Then I can again do a VLOOKUP here. So 
I will say again we look up any place where you see Thomas okay comma now let me just delete this okay so the formula automatically adjusts here uh, I will say is equal to V look up any place where you see Thomas in this entire table return which value the sixth column value because now the full name is here in the sixth column one two three four five six and we have used another formula here to join these first and the two first and the last name but now I want this sixth column value so I will say six and I want exact so I will say false and hit so automatically it will look for Thomas in this entire table here and then return the sixth column value here and then I pull the formula for everybody so I get the full names for my team then if I want the title instead of writing the entire formula the titles are here project manager and architect and all that what I can do is I can copy this formula put this formula here I guess it will not allow copy the formula but what if I do it like this so here giving me an error but what I'll do is I'll rectify this formula so I will feel I'll do a VLOOKUP for again it will start from D4 forms and then I look in this entire column it is already showing this is the area that we're selecting and then look in this entire table and then return which value we want the title so one two three four this is the fourth column return the fourth value fourth column value and do a false since we want an exact match so it says here look for thomas and it says he is an assistant pm then i drag the formula for everybody similarly for salaries it will be column three so is equal to we look up Thomas, comma, look in the entire region, return the third column value, hence data false. And if you see here, it says 1500. Drag the formula for everybody. So now I have the data for my entire team. If you see here, there are some formulas which may mess up if any value changes here because. With the help of the formulas, it's taking the details from here. So anything that goes wrong here, this data will change. So it's always a good idea to copy this entire value and then paste it special only as values. So this is no formulas now. You see here. Now whereas here it it will straight from. So this is your your data now. So I hope this was useful as to how you have to run VLOOKUP and also why do we need to run VLOOKUP at certain times. So stay tuned for more videos like this. Alright, thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe.